In this video, I will be explaining how to act like a mom. Never be affected by hot surfaces and high temperature water. Nothing is more heat proof than a pair of good old fashioned mom hands. Always carry your phone around with your head. Constantly engage in a conversation with another mom. So Brooke, I heard your mom is in the hospital. My mom said you took her to the ER today. If you're doing something important and your child is trying to get your attention, ignoring them will only make it worse. Let them tell you what they need to tell you and say, mm-hmm, every so often to let them know you're listening, Mom. even though you actually don't care a single bit. Mom, I think I broke my toe. I was jumping on the tramp and I landed on my toe and it hurt. Mm-hmm. Also, Connor's being a jerk. Yep. And when's dinner? I'm getting really hungry. Yep. Never walk to where your children are in the house. Always shout their names. And be sure to get their name mixed up with their siblings' names before getting it right. Hunt, pack, Benson, time for dinner. Come down right now. Always drive a minivan. If you don't have a minivan, acquire one immediately. They see all your rambunctious children while having plenty of room to pack other items. Most of your time is spent transporting children, and you need to get to your destinations quickly. So drive your minivan like a tank. You should always be prepared with lots of healthy snacks such as organic fruit, whole grain crackers, and nutritious protein bars. Nap time is essential to increase productivity while masking the fact that you are actually temporarily getting rid of your children without them knowing it. Okay, everyone needs to stop what they're doing, go upstairs for two hours of room time because I need a nap. I am so worn out. I'm not. <laughs> always incorporate vegetables into your children's diet. Make sure to get a crock pot. Shoved in the back of your cupboard and rarely used, the crock pot is your secret weapon. Make everyone get out and use the restroom at the same time during road trips to minimize stops in the future. All right, everyone needs to go to the bathroom at this next stop. I'm not gonna stop a million times to go to the bathroom. So we're all gonna get out at the next gas station. Shout your child's full name when you're mad at them. Constantly be telling your child to take, take out, out the trash, trash clean their room, room, or get off their phone, even though half the time you are on your own phone. You guys, you've been on it way too long. Put parental controls on all your children's devices and monitor it like a hawk. I see that you have spent five hours and 43 minutes on Clash of Clans and only three minutes on Gospel Library, which was probably just during seminary. Also, constantly voice that you think kids shouldn't have phones anyway. Kids shouldn't even have phones anyways, don't you think? Constantly bug your children about their grades and ask them why they're failing their class even though you know that they're playing that egg shooting game the whole time. No to Wake your children up if they sleep in by shouting, you're late for school or you're going to miss the bus. Colin, wake up, you're going to miss the bus. You slept in. I did. <laughs> when in doubt, say no. When a child approaches you asking if they can do this or that, say no before thinking about it, just in case. Mom, can I go to no. check this out? You can always change your mind later. Children think maybe means yes, so only say maybe if you are prepared to give your child what they want, which no mother should have to do. Threaten to take away your child's newest obsession, even if it's good, unless they do their chores. Hunter! Hunter! You gotta get your chores done before you play the piano. Use reverse psychology. It is key to manipulating your children, and children's brains are programmed to do the exact opposite of what you say. Hey, Colin, I bet you can't fold your laundry in under two minutes. <laughs>